So mm. good. Cashews so and good. coconut. You must try. Everyone must experience this. I seriously think I could eat that entire tray That's and then awesome. never be able to wear a swimsuit again. I'm Camille and I have an obsession. I stay up late at night reading cookbooks. I imagine that the author is my best friend who I cook with and ask a million questions. And this show is my chance to do that in real life. We're going into the kitchen to get to know the people behind my favorite cookbooks to talk life, talk food, and cook from their book. I feel like we've become internet friends. We have. It's funny, the internet, the way it works. Like, we haven't actually met before now, but it feels like we've known each other forever. Right? I know, and here you are. Yeah, and Austin is incredible. I'm loving the city. It's so fun to be here. I think of Tegan as like a stealth genius. She's such a humble person. It's almost shocking when you see her work and it's just this explosion of color and flavor on the page. She has this crazy, huge fan base of readers who love everything she does and she's just so talented. I'm so happy to have you and to be cooking one of my favorite recipes from your gorgeous new cookbook. We are making... We are making the veggie pad Thai. Okay, so Tegan, you live in a barn. I do, I live in a renovated horse barn. So How did that happen? But when I first started, I was pretty young, I was still living at home. I kind of was like, you know, I think I'm ready to be out of my parents' house, like, you know, ready to move on. And my parents were looking to move and we found this amazing property with a horse barn on it. And it was my dad that actually had the idea to renovate that space and make it a living and working space for me. So it so turned cool. into my home and the Half Baked Harvest headquarters. Can we come have a barn raising yes. party? Yes. I like carbs. Yeah. So I like to do the veggies with the zoo. I love, see, I like Or I mean the noodles with the, the veggies. I feel like that's how you trick pasta yes, people. Yes, exactly. Tegan is so fun to cook with. We are like very similar in our approach in the kitchen in that we kind of freestyle. Let our palates be our guide and don't worry too much about sticking exactly to a recipe. Everything needs to be opened here, Camille. Come on, you guys gotta cook more in this kitchen. What intimidates some people is there are a decent amount of ingredients, but I like to call them mostly pantry staples that you should always have. So a little bit of soy sauce, some olive oil. Fish sauce is like a secret ingredient. It's essential to Thai cooking, so you gotta have a little fish sauce Agreed. in your pantry. These recipes are inspired by the people and places I love most. My philosophy on food, be bright, beautiful, and positively cozy. My philosophy on life, work harder than anyone else. Did you always dream about writing a cookbook? Was that always a goal of yours? No, not at all. When I started the blog, I never thought I'd write a cookbook even then. And then something kind of changed, and I was like, you know what, let's write a cookbook. It was probably just a really fun, creative challenge to do something yeah. that, like on your blog, you can make updates or tweaks or yes. edits, and this is so It permanent. was scary. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't tweak these recipes at all anymore. Like, they need to be solid, like, for good. Yeah. Like, there's no changing them. You have some brothers and sisters. Yes, I do. <laughs> I am one of seven kids, so um, there's quite a few Gerards out there. For a while, I was actually the only girl. I had five brothers, oh, and then my gosh. when I was 15, my little sister Asher was born. I grew up eating chicken and rice every <laughs> single night, so I think I just got bored. And Is I that what made you want to learn to cook? Yes, so I kind of just started cooking to help out for the family. She's totally self-taught, so she kind of started developing her own style in the kitchen and experimenting with ingredients, and then it became a hobby, and then it became a career. Most cookbook authors have like a food stylist, they have yeah. recipe testers, they have a prop stylist, yeah. and then of course they have a photographer. But I feel like you were kind of a one-woman show, which is amazing. I, it was a one-woman show when it came to creating that book. I mean, I had my team at um, my publishing house and everything, but yeah, I, I did the photos, I did the prop styling. Nice that I have the blog to see. If you go back and look into the beginning years, the first two years, like you will definitely see. There's a big difference in my photos, which just goes to show you that with time, you can learn a new craft and you can perfect it and learn something new, it's fun. Wow, that works so well. Yeah, okay, I'm adding in the rest of our zoodles. I love tons of lime in Thai food. A little bit of citrus is perfect. 
It's a nice color. Show let's, me let's your way. Let's some mangoes, yes. Who do you love to follow on Instagram? Like, do you get any major food inspiration from anyone? Not on Instagram. So on Instagram, it's funny. I follow like people that are not in my niche, and I don't like to be similar to what other people, right. in, you know, that are cooking are doing. That's so smart. So I really try to look for other sources of inspiration: friends, family, traveling, all kinds of stuff. So it's good. so good. I could eat mangoes all day long. I seriously love that you've like written things in. All my cookbooks are like totally marked up. Okay, so we're sitting at dinner and Tegan just like casually mentions that her brother is a pretty good snowboarder and that she's about to go to Korea to watch him in the Olympics. So obviously I dug in a little bit and found out that he's freaking awesome. Little did we know though that she was about to go and watch him win the gold medal. Go Gerard, Team USA. <laughs> I still cannot get over that. I still can't get over it, to be honest with you. Like, he's only 17. Kind of like smell it a little bit when it hits the, you know, warmth or oh, whatever. It smells so, so good. Good. That's sesame oil. Do you mean to chop some basil? Yeah, let's put it in a little bit of fresh basil. You could tear it. Good. Yeah, I think it's great. Okay, should we dish it up? Let's dish it up. Top it yeah. with an egg, put yes. an egg on it. This is kind of like a fun dish to entertain with, I feel like, too. Yeah. Like, a, like a girl's lunch or something. It was so much fun. I loved making this with you. <laughs> so really good. good. Okay, let's go let everyone else have a try. We have pad thai. Hey. There you go. Here you go. Oh One for you. you. Thank you. It's very light. Yeah. Pad thai, I feel like it's so salty and stuff, and like the noodles, you can like yeah. feel not that great after eating it, but you feel good after eating this. Well, enjoy. She has no idea what she's about to have, have to no idea. answer. I'm so a little bit nervous. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Game time. Let's do it. Ooh! Wow! It's like really mixing them up. This is fun. Question number one. Bagel or croissant? I mean, really? Oh well, actually. I feel like you're a bagel girl. I was gonna say croissant, really? but bagel you can like do so much with. All right, okay. next question. Okay. What is your signature party cocktail? A mascot meal. Ooh, yep. how do you make it? Um, normally I'll do like pomegranate juice, tons of lime, vodka, and ginger beer. That sounds so good. Yeah. Okay, here, I'm gonna draw one for you. Okay. If you could prepare a meal anywhere in the world, what location would you choose and what would you serve? Definitely tropical, somewhere tropical, or maybe somewhere like in Rome or something. Let's go with that. Rome. Pizza. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. and I have a cheese board because. Yes. I mean, you have to have a cheese yeah, board. Yeah, I have to find your. I love the image of your cheese board. Yeah. That it's might be so one of my pretty. favorite cheese boards I've ever created. Oh my gosh. Big salad. Always got to have a big salad with every meal, I feel like. Roma. I know. Mwah. Well, you killed it, girl. <laughs> Let's cheers to this cookbook. Thank you so Amazing. much. Amazing. That focus on family and the way that food can create these experiences, I think that's one of the reasons why Tegan's cooking and her philosophy really resonate with me. I just love that it's a book that I'll get out for years to come and that some of Tegan's family recipes can become my family recipes.